Hey everyone, and welcome to today's fascinating dive into the world of biology. Ever wondered how some plants and animals manage to have multiple offspring from a single egg? Well, get ready to meet polyembryony. Polyembryony, more than one from one. Polyembryony, in simple terms, occurs when more than one embryo develops from a single fertilized egg. It's like nature's way of creating a built-in backup system, twins, triplets, or more. This amazing phenomenon occurs in both the plant and animal kingdoms. Let's explore some cool examples. Polyembryony in animals In the animal world, a classic example is the nine-banded armadillo. These unique mammals often give birth to identical quadruplets. Imagine that four babies, all from the same egg. And yes, even humans can experience polyembryony, resulting in identical twins. Polyembryony in plants But polyembryony isn't just an animal thing. It's quite common in plants too. Remember Antony van Leeuwenhoek? He first discovered this in 1719 when he observed multiple embryos in citrus seeds. In plants, it can happen in a few ways, either multiple embryonic sacs get fertilized, or embryos develop outside the sac itself. Types of polyembryony there are different types of polyembryony, like Cleavage polyembryony, a single fertilized egg splits into multiple embryos. Penus is a great example. Simple polyembryony, here, multiple embryos arise from the fertilization of several archegonia, the plant equivalent of ovaries. Rosette polyembryony, Additional embryos develop from special cells called rosette cells. Based on the stimulus, it is of two types. One induced polyembryony. It includes cases of experimentally induced polyembryony. Two spontaneous polyembryony. It includes all cases of polyembryony that occur naturally. Polyembryony in different plant groups Polyembryony is observed across various plant groups, including Cycadals, that are woody plants with a stocky, cylindrical stem, bearing a crown of very large, coarse leaves polyembryony. Though uncommon in these groups, it can occur. Coniferals a group of gymnosperm plants simple polyembryony is frequent here. Taxales, plants with evergreen, slow-growing, profusely branched shrubs or small trees, simple polyembryony occurs due to the fertilization of multiple egg cells. Nettles, the closest living relatives of flowering plants polyembryony is very common in this group. What is the reason for polyembryony? There are two theories. One, necrohormone theory. This theory indicates that the degeneration of the nucellus acts as a source of stimulus to adjacent cells to divide and form embryos. Two, hybridization theory. As per this theory, the occurrence of multiple embryos is due to hybridization. So, why is this phenomenon important? Importance of polyembryony Well, in plants, it's useful for plant breeding and horticulture to get genetically uniform seedlings. Disease-free plants, nucellar embryos, a type of polyembryony, are often free from diseases. Propagation of fruit trees like mangoes and citrus. The application of adventive embryos is important for providing genetically uniform seedlings. In general, 
Polyembryony increases a species' chances of survival and dispersal. Isn't nature amazing? Polyembryony is just one example of the incredible diversity and ingenuity of the living world. If you have noticed that in gymnosperms polyembryony has evolved from cycads to nettles, plants more like angiosperms. I hope you enjoyed learning about this fascinating phenomenon. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting biology facts. Mm -hmm.